Hepatitis B Virus Serology Hepatitis B is a viral infection affecting the liver. The disease goes through different phases, which can be diagnosed by serology. Let's start with an overview of the phases. In adults, hepatitis B virus infection begins with an acute stage. More than 95% of affected adults will subsequently recover from infection, and less than 5% of cases progress to a chronic stage. Chronic hepatitis B virus infection is defined as persistent infection for at least six months. The term chronic infection, however, is associated with several phases. We'll give you an initial quick overview. Often, the first phase of chronic infection is the immune active phase. In this phase, the patient has a high viral load and there is moderate to severe inflammation in the liver. In a later phase of the infection, the host may develop a partial immune response to the virus, leading to low replication and remission of liver disease. However, the infection is not fully resolved but remains quiescent for a varying period. This phase is termed as the inactive phase, and patients are referred to as inactive carriers. There is another chronic phase that we would like to point out, the immune-tolerant phase. This phase is observed when infection occurs before birth, through maternal transmission, or early in childhood. Early exposure to hepatitis B virus leads to T-cell tolerance towards the virus, resulting in minimal inflammation in the liver despite a very high viral load. The immune-tolerant phase lasts an average of 30 years and progresses into a phase with active liver disease, which, in an even later stage, can resolve to an inactive carrier state. One consequence of the long duration of immune tolerance is that it leads to a high frequency of maternal infant transmission in endemic countries. This list of chronic forms is not exhaustive and there are further special constellations. However, if you keep these three phases in mind, immune active, inactive, and immune tolerant chronic hepatitis B, that's a solid basis. Serology is also able to detect a past resolved infection. Furthermore, it can be used to detect whether a patient has been vaccinated against hepatitis B. Finally, negative hepatitis B serology indicates that there is no evidence of infection. However, a negative serology does not necessarily mean that there is no infection. Because the incubation time may be as long as six months, serology should be repeated if there is a well-founded